Hey, good morning, everybody. My name is Trent Jenkins with our Fallbrook campus. Excited to be sharing with you today on uh, one passage about who Jesus is. I love that we're taking a look at the life of Jesus. So we're gonna be diving into Luke chapter five. And Jesus hasn't even assembled his team yet. He's going solo. And here he is, he finds Simon with his boats. And we pick up the passage right here. Let's take a look, Luke chapter five. One day as Jesus was standing by the lake of Gennesaret, with the people crowding around him and listening to the word of God, he saw at the water's edge two boats left there by the fishermen who were washing their nets. He got into one of the boats, the one belonging to Simon, and asked him to put out for a little bit from shore. Then he sat down and taught the people from the boat. When he had finished speaking, he said to Simon, put out into deep water and let down the nets for a catch. Simon answered, master, we've worked hard all night and even caught any, haven't caught anything. But because you say so, I will let down the nets. When they had done so, they caught such a large number of fish that their nets began to break. So they signaled their partners in the other boats to come and help them. And they came and filled both their boats so, so full that they began to sink. We're going to hit a pause right there in this story. I, I love this story and I just have this question for you. When's the last time that you've been overwhelmed with who God is? I'm not talking about those little coincidences that we try to weave together and show how God was in the midst of our story. I'm talking about evidence so overwhelming that it has to be God. And that's what we find in this story. We see a story where Peter, an experienced fisherman, gets called out by Jesus. He's tired from a day's work. And then Jesus says, hey, can I use your boat as a platform for me to do some more teaching? Sure, why not? He brings him out and then uh, you just got to love these stories when a rookie, an inexperienced person calls somebody who's a master to do something out of the ordinary. Jesus, a carpenter, calls the fisherman to do something that he wants to do. And I, I love Peter's response. He's like, master, we've been doing this all day long. Anybody ever have that response when Jesus calls you to do something? Yeah, but I've already tried that. I've already been there. It wasn't quite what I thought it was. But then Jesus said, cast out the nets. And Peter says, because you say so, I will. You see, it's all a matter of the person who's telling you to do it. It's Jesus saying it. And he says, because you say so, I will. I've already tried it on my own, my own talents, my own abilities, but because you say so, God, I will. I've already tried with my family members and trying to be a good example and yet you want me to talk to him again because you say so, I will. I've already tried in my marriage. I've already forgiven. I've already tried so many times. And you want me to go at it again because you say so, I will. And here comes that whole part of abundance where Jesus overwhelms him. Ephesians 3.20 says that he wants to do immeasurably more than all we can ask or imagine. Peter would have, or Simon, still at this point in time, would have never dreamt of having this many fish. I did some quick calculations. A boat at that point in time was around 27 feet and it would have caught over 2,000 pounds of fish to be able to make it start to sink. And then the other one was so full it was as well. He exceeded Peter's imagination and God wants to exceed your imagination and what's going on in your life. I'm not talking about some sort of prosperity gospel. I'm saying this, is that if when Jesus is in your boat, life is sure to be better. It may not look exactly as you want it to, but God has the better plan in store for you. Is Jesus in your boat? Are you counting on him or on your own talents? Are you trusting in him and his ways or are you about to give up because it didn't work for you in the way you did it before? Trust in him, lean on him, not on your own understanding and all your ways acknowledge him. And he's going to give you so much more than you can ask or imagine. Have a great day, everybody.